Okay, in this packet <coughs> tracer, we're going to take a look at NAT and how it interacts. So I downloaded the PKA file. I'm now going to save it as NAT. And I'm not sure what lab number this is. 5.4.3. Okay, step one, examine the Linksys external configuration. So we're going to click the Linksys device, access the GUI menu, go to status, and to the router page. So here's my Linksys device. We're going to go to the GUI, go to the status page, which is right here at the end, and the router information. <coughs> Go down and look, and it says the internet connection is automatically configured through DHCP. So that means I got my IP address from my internet service provider. 209, 165, 200, 224. That's a public IP address. And notice the subnet mask. This is a 209 that's a class A, B, or C. C, C class C A. address. What is this subnet mask? This doesn't look like anything we've used before. Anybody have, want to take a guess at what's happening here? at that. The, the bits that are all turned on here, correct? They're all turned on here and here, just like a normal class C. But they also, some of them are turned on in that last octet. So that means the network portion of this address is using some of those host bits that are reserved. So we can't use the full 254 addresses. These networks are a lot smaller. Only use the 224 up to 224? Yep, for 224 to 2, I would be guessing here. Yeah, because 225 is the first usable address. See the default gateway? Yep. 225 is the first usable. So we'll get into details of subnetting later. Okay, so I examined that information, and I have it for one day. Let's take a look what else we got going on here. Scroll down, look at the Internet Connection Panel, the IP address to Linksys device. No IP is present, it shows 000, but I have an IP, so we're okay. Examine the links, this internal configuration. We're gonna scroll up here, local area network. So I'm using the 182.168.1, that's a private network. And 255, 255, 255, that's a typical class C. DHCP servers is running, I'm handing out about 50 addresses. Close this, and we want to add four PCs to the PT work area. Okay, so we're going to close the wireless router configuration. We're going to go to end devices and add four computers. Move things around so I can see them. <coughs> and then it wants me to connect them with a straight through cable. would and sh make sure that you connect them in that order because that's probably the order that it's going to check to see if you completed the lab. Yes? Uh, do you want us to do any of the other labs or quizzes or anything in this chapter? Um, just that first one that we had that just did the binary hex or binary decimal conversions and then <coughs> these two packet tracer labs. That's it? And that's it. Okay, so we're going to continue on. Use the config tab to set all of these <coughs> workstations to use DHCP. So we're going to go to config at each one of these, interface, DHCP. Oh, got an IP. Go to the next one, config tab, PC1, DHCP. Config. And the last one. Check the IP config. If each PC uses an IP config slash all. We're going to go to the 
desktop, command line, IP config, all. I can see I've been given a private IP address, 192.168.1 network. The next one, did the exact same thing. 101. DNS server. My DNS server, I'm using the 209 165 200 226. I'll bet you that is the IP address of this server out here. Okay, we've looked at all of those. They'll have a private IP address. View the NAT translation across the links. It's any simulation mode by booking the simulation tab. And then we go through, that's where the simulation tab is, right down here. And we can simulate and follow this instructions. I'm running out of time here, but you can follow those and take a look at what's happening. Review the header information and see how the address changes that 192.168.1 one address from these host computers changes to a public 200 address as it's going down here. So that's what you see when you do the simulation. I'll let you complete the simulation. Check my results so far, and it uh, looks like I've figured everything correctly.